Listen up for the eerie echoes of the past, from fantasy parks that once resonated with children chuckling are now silent as a grave, each telling the story of personal dreams and big businesses crushed under the cruel and precarious winds of time. Now speaking of stories we loved as kids, time to bring on those ruby slippers and drop by the fascinating Land of Oz, a famous theme park in Beach Mountain, North Carolina. Opening its magical doors to the public in 1970, the park is inspired by Frank Baum's timeless masterpiece, all decked out with costumes and dramatic sets. After flourishing for a decade, the park shut down in 1980. Today, this place is the perfect image of the desolate, with some recent plans seeking to breathe new life into this abandoned park. Now, that's us hoping one day, it will chime once again with the footsteps of little witches and wizards, but for now, all you can do is walk on the yellow brick road as you admire the castle of the wicked witches still standing at the heart of the park. You're in Oz. I'm Theodore the Good Witch. Where's your broom? You don't know much about witches, do you? Now we've all seen The Gulliver's Travels, Growing Up, a satirical novel by Irish author Jonathan Swift, which inspired the creation of Gulliver's Kingdom. Built in 1997 near the iconic Mount Fuji in Japan, the park recreates the story of Lemuel Gulliver, a man who embarks on a journey into a fictional land, featuring miniatures of all the famous places from the book, including, of course, a gigantic version of Lemuel Gulliver and a replica of the Grand Canyon. Visitors could also ride boats representing the floating city of Lilliput and experience a scale replica of the Bermuda Triangle, complete with its own ghost ship for you to explore. Despite the huge creative potential here, the park struggled to pull in, crowds ran into financial troubles and finally closed its doors in 2001. The Batangas in the Philippines promised to bring a new Asian spin to Disneyland in Florida. Situated on the island of Taal during the late 90s, this place was a tourist magnet. But as of now, with no operational rides, this unfinished park only serves as a photo park. I think it's a really good idea that they do have a, uh, some security to try to keep it safe, to try to make sure no vandalizing happens. Because once that happens, when people start destroying this place, Failing to evoke the magic of fairy tales, despite the towers, moats and castles that now lay overgrown and rusty over time. In recent times, there has been some talk of revamping the place, but none of these recent partnerships and development plans seem to have seen the light of the day so far. But it's the story of Lake Shawnee that brings out true horror vibes. Legend has it, the park was built on an Indian burial ground, and sometime in the 18th century, there was a brutal clash between a tribe of Native Americans and a colonial family trying to settle in the land. By the 1920s, an amusement park was erected, only to meet a chilling fate. The park was forced to shut down in 1966, after the death of two young patrons riding on a circular swing, but that said, there were also rumors of paranormal activity and ghost sightings, believed to be the spirits of the park's victims. So yeah, if you had a ball in time watching the Hellfest, you might want to dress up this Halloween when the park still throws a dark carnival every year full of ghost rides, corn mazes, and spooky campouts. But hey, enough about ghosts. Time to get real with what is probably the most famous nuclear accident of all time, the Chernobyl fire in Ukraine. The town of Pripyat, just a few miles away from the power plant, was home to many workers and their families. In 1986, a new amusement park was all set to open up on Labor Day. But only days before, there was a catastrophic explosion at Chernobyl that claimed 50 lives, sparking a huge scandal for the safety of the country's nuclear program. Faced with the risk of radioactive exposure, the town was mass evacuated and all works of concrete were left at the mercy of nature, including, sadly, this brand new park. Today, its most iconic feature, the Ferris wheel, still stands as a poignant symbol of the tragic history of this small Ukrainian town. Now here's another one, the Spree Park in Berlin, stuck in time since its closure in 2002. Built in 1969 during the communist government in East Germany, it had a good run for two decades when it was visited by over 1.7 million visitors a year. In 1991, Norbert Witt, a scandalous park operator, 
took charge and rebranded the place as Spree Park, replacing the boring grey asphalt with vibrant grass pavements and water fountains. He also brought new rides shipped all the way from an abandoned theme park in Paris. But here's the big mafia twist. All this while, Vita had also been smuggling cocaine, hiding it inside the equipment shipped from Peru. Soon after, the park had to be embarrassingly shut down, but for what it's worth, it did inspire some cinematic love when it was featured in the film Hannah. To top it all off, a fire in 2014 caused even more damage to the already decaying rides. In 2016, the city of Berlin took over the site, hoping to turn it into a local hub for arts and culture. Now into the haunted remains of Wonderland Amusement Park in Beijing, a story frozen in time. Once the largest amusement park in Asia and sprawling over a whopping 100 acres, this was meant to be the Disneyland of China, with a fairy tale castle at the heart of the park taking inspiration from the one in Sleeping Beauty. Construction came to a grinding and sudden halt in 1998. Strange rumors of why builders left the park began to circulate, with some claiming the land was haunted because it stood on mass graves. But in reality, people working on the project simply ran out of money, and the Wonderland was left unfinished. Local farmers took over the land, reclaiming the area, growing livestock and crops amid the half-built rides. The towering remains of the castle, meant to be the park's central attraction, met its final demise in 2013, when the whole place was razed to the ground. Prepare for a spine-chilling tale of the Okpo land, located all the way in South Korea. It was once home to the best amusement rides in the world, but things took a tragic turn in 1999, when a young girl on a duck-themed ride lost her life as one of the carts derailed. But hold on, that's not the only time the park had seen tragedy. Earlier in the 90s, another casualty was reported on the same ride. After the second tragedy, the owner vanished into thin air, leaving Okpo land to crumble away in silence. In 2011, the demolition squad was ready to turn a new leaf. Even though the land was earmarked for development, so far, nothing has risen from the ruins. And well, there you have it. Eight abandoned theme parks from around the world, from unfinished replicas of the original Disneyland in Florida, to the industry's dark underbelly of cocaine-busting scandals, or perhaps the failed recreations of iconic literary works lost to an older generation of readers. If you enjoyed this ride into theme parks, we have lost to time. Make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss out on more fascinating journeys into the most intriguing corners of the world. From so-called ghost towns and haunted castles to spooky woodlands and abandoned parks, we promise to make it worth your time. Until next time, happy traveling, and we'll see you soon.